Welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator, where last time we built this thing, our Nissan GTR. I have a feeling today we might be saying goodbye to the Nissan GTR. That's because today I wanted to head over to the car auctions in search of our next vehicle. This is the Ferrari 458 wide body. I think it's actually a, a, a Liberty Walk body kit, which is really cool. Yo, that engine's actually in pretty good shape. We're gonna start the auction, starting price 7,000 bucks. Imagine I get it for that amount, okay. I, I don't know what this vehicle's supposed to sell for. Okay, we're over 25,000. Okay, okay. I think I just stole that Ferrari. Thank you very much. 25,400 bucks. This Ferrari is literally caked in mud. So yeah, let's foam this guy up. Let's see what color it is under all of that. No way. It's a blacked out 458. That's so sick. Let's also do the interior while we're over here very very nice whoa it's not black it's green anyways let's bring over the welder as well this welder will take all of the nasty rust off of this vehicle so we'll spend 500 bucks and that'll fix up the frame beautifully i guess we will begin our disassemble so rear wing you gotta go trunk you gotta go the door that's gross. Front bumper. See you later, sunshine. Can I take off these fenders? Yes, I can. Yo, these wheels are actually really sick. I had no idea we could get like tire letters on our vehicles in this game. So we're going to have to look into that when we start rebuilding this Ferrari. But for now, like I was saying, all of this stuff gotta go. These wheels actually aren't in that bad shape but i think we'll probably buy some new ones because they might be a bit sketchy now that we've got all the wheels off let's inspect the suspension see what type of quality everything is in here maybe we might get lucky we might not need to swap everything out yeah there's definitely some sus pieces in there but we can swap those out that is really not bad most of these yellow parts i can totally live with i'm obviously going to change the brake calipers the pads the discs and so on anything that's like overly rusty i'm also going to remove just to get a new one on the vehicle basically long story short with this ferrari i'm repairing it as cheaply as possible to essentially rip off the next owner. Final piece for our front suspension. See you later. See, it's nice to be able to save time like that. Our, our suspension looks really good. Rear suspension teardown. Yeah, there's some pretty major rust in this guy. This shock absorber is another rusty bolt. Are you kidding me? I don't know what happened to this car in its previous life, but there we go. Suspension, you are finished. Let's get this nasty gearbox off as well. Now that we've done all of our teardown, what's our car status look like? Now we've lost 9,000 bucks. Oil and drain. Ugh. That's so cool that our engine crane actually comes to the rear of our vehicle now. Anyways, with that, our engine is no longer in there. And yo, you know what? You know what? The rest of this stuff isn't bad. Our air filters I am going to remove just because I'm going to go for some high performance ones in a moment. Before I get into building an engine, stay tuned. I want the suspension to be all fixed up. So let's raise the vehicle back up into the air, purchase any parts that we need to fix up this suspension, and we can maybe even get some wheels on this thing right away. This is how you've got to play this game. This is way cheaper to just... I mean, blatantly cut corners. There we go. Upper suspension arm, a brand new one installed. Yo, I think we're going to make a lot of money from this vehicle. New shock absorber. Let's get that guy installed. 100% condition. This vehicle is going to be so nice to drive. No joke. Here we go. Ventilated brake disc. That's going to allow us to stop super quickly. I'm going to need brake pads as well. Twitch chat has a good idea and says I should paint my brake calipers before I get them installed. I love that idea. I don't actually know if it'll add to the value, but it'll definitely add to the cool value. So 
it's probably worth it, right? Twitch chat, what color should our brake calipers be? Do we want it like a bright red? Chrome probably looks the best. That looks very, very legit. Chrome red. Let's get these installed now. That is so cool. Proper red painted brake calipers. I don't think I've missed anything for our front suspension. Our front suspension is already done. Let's go. And with that, off to the rear. I can get my new suspension in though. Let's go. That suspension is going to make the handling of the Ferrari way, way better. Let's get that red brake caliper installed on the rear as well. That actually looks so good. When we toss on our wheels, I really hope it actually comes through. Just like that, our rear suspension is finished. Our front suspension is finished. That's awesome. And now we've got to figure out what is going to power our Ferrari. We've actually got two options in here. We've got a V8 DOHC or a V8 DOHC supercharged engine. DJ told me the supercharged version is a little bit OP in this game. So I kind of want to go for that one. Bone stock. It has almost 600 horsepower and 700 plus newton meters of torque. I have no idea what that is in freedom unit. This is what we're going to build though. So let me clear off our shopping list. I'm going to tell you, we are going to max out this engine. So DJ was telling me if I come over to my toolbox, I can upgrade. This is salvaging. Adds a container equipped with stripping tools near your garage. Allows you to salvage and upgrade parts. It only costs us two and a half thousand credits. And that's going to be the best two and a half thousand credits we've ever spent. Because if I head outside and now into this container, I can upgrade some parts. This was the fuel filter we just bought. And it was upgrading our horsepower by 0.6%. If I click enter and then enter again, that uses up some of our blue salvage parts. It upgrades it by 0.7%. That may not sound like too much, but trust me, when we start upgrading things like the supercharger, for example, that is going to be ridiculous amounts of horsepower. Long story short, today's going to be a lot of running around between this upgrade container, the tuning shop, and so on. So here we go, alternator, upgrade that. We've just upgraded it from 1.5% horsepower to 2% horsepower. These gains are about to be ridiculous. Ridiculous. We also need eight piston with con rods and our big old flywheel as well. We're going to get so much horsepower from our gearbox. Clutch plate, that's 1.75 all the way up to two. The engine head, that's up to 13. I am blown away by this feature. So I'm already around 30 to 40% extra horsepower on top of the 500. Yeah, this is going to be a thousand horsepower Ferrari 458. Wait, what? Somebody in Twitch chat's telling me that custom gearboxes now give you extra horsepower. That's awesome. We've got to upgrade the throttle. Thank you. We've really gone all out with this thing. Am I right in thinking? Are we seriously done this engine already? So we'll take the engine from the stand and it's gonna go into our Ferrari. So install our brand new, fully upgraded V8 supercharged engine. That's gonna be scary fast. DJ brought up a good point. I don't want to forget about my fuel pump because that's obviously one of those parts that you can upgrade. All we need now is a new gearbox and a new starter for our vehicle. I'm also going to change out all of the fluid in our coolant and our power steering and stuff. Oh, it's not really worth it, but I'll take it. All of the extra horsepower is going to be worth it in the long run. Gearbox installed. That's extra horsepower. That is so cool. The engine is in. The fuel tank is in. Pretty much everything is in this vehicle. We've got to get some new rims. We've got to get some body panels. I've got to imagine that Ferrari body panels aren't cheap, right? Body parts for the Ferrari. Yo, it's like 400, 700, 750. Jeff. I need some money. No, no problem. You'll have it in my account in a second. 
Fantastic. Thank you, Jeff. Now that we've got some more money, thank you, Daddy Jeff, for that one. I want to start with our tires. So, our old tire size, 255-30 R21 for the front and 305s 30 21 for the rear okay like i was saying before we've now got race tires that have tire letters on them which is so sick so yes we are going with those you know what now that i'm thinking about it i probably should have got bigger tires because we have so much horsepower now um it might be a bit on the sketchy side i'm aware these might look a little bit funky when we put them on Keep in mind, we, we don't have the wide body just yet, but that looks like it's gonna be pretty perfect. Okay, the Ferrari is looking so good. Oh my God, I can already tell that that alignment is so jank looking. Now that we've got our wheels finally installed, we can now lower the Ferrari finally back onto the ground and we can get our body panels on. If I open up the community car body shop, these are every single part that I can put onto my Ferrari. I guess let's start off with the simple things like some headlights and then let's get some tail lights while we're here as well. Let's go for, I think C is going to be pretty good. I like those. Let's go for a rear bumper as well. Now we've got six different options here. We've got regular Ferrari parts. This is a 458 Speciale with blacked out tailpipes and blacked out badges. Yeah, let's go for that. All right, let's toss these new parts onto the car. Let's get that new rear bumper installed. Yo, our old rear bumper actually wasn't bad, but that is just mean looking, okay? Doors, we've only got two options. Both of them look exactly the same, so I'm not really gonna worry about them. Let's go for the regular stock one. And then for our hood, we have four different options, okay? We've got some carbon fiber options. Yeah, let's do it, let's do it, let's go carbon fiber. We have two different fender options, a regular Ferrari 458 fender or our wide body one. And I think you know which way we're going with this. Look at those, look at that fitment as well. That's awesome. Actually, now that we're on the back of the vehicle, let's get this trunk window and our spoiler. Car part one, we have four different options all of which look pretty normal except for the ducktail. So I'm gonna go with that. Very, very nice, thank you. All right, looking good. Let's come back to the front and get our front bumper. A lot of Twitch chat is saying B. Let's try that. If we don't like it, we can always change it, keep in mind. But okay, no, 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 we had to go with that one because it matches our fenders, okay. Good shout, Twitch, good call. And then finally, all I need is an engine cover and car part three. And wide body installed, that's so sick. Open up that trunk. We can actually hide our very accurate engine there with a Ferrari engine cover. That's so good. There's no way I'm finished. Car status now, body part, 96%, frame 100%, interior 100%. Parts, 88%. I guess we'll find out as soon as we try to turn the vehicle on. Let's move the Ferrari over to the paint booth now. Oh my God. Oh, what's going on back here? No, my bumper doesn't work. Damn. Yeah, you gotta go. Sorry, buddy. I guess I've gotta go with bumper B. That's the proper Liberty Walk one. Now, if we spin it around, there we go. Much, much better on the rear of the vehicle. I would love to have had my exhausts on the side, but whatever. It looks pretty cool still. Before we actually hit the open road, I need to move the car and I need to take it over to the test path to give it an alignment. Yeah, it's a good thing we're doing an alignment on this because this was, uh, was not good. Thank you very much. The vehicle is now aligned properly. That fitment is perfect. And now it's the moment we've been waiting for. How much horsepower does our Ferrari actually make? Let's see. Rev them up, Ferrari. That supercharge is crazy. Yo, no way! 1,600 horsepower without mods. Now we've come to the top speed test track. Let's see what speed our Ferrari can do. Okay. Uh, well, I can tell you right away. It uh, spins its wheels a lot. I'm using like 5% throttle right now. Up, 
Um, 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 I have an idea for my Ferrari. Two thousand years later. After that little quick intermission, we're now all-wheel drive. That is more like it. Thank you very much. I mean, we, we are a smoke machine out the back. Um, and, the, and the, surprisingly, the Ferrari's not on fire. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I don't think this runway's long enough, if I'm honest. 330, 340, 350. Come on, get 400. 400 kilometers an hour. Okay, I need I need a longer runway. Yo, oh, I hit the grass. I, I hit the dirt. Uh-oh. Uh, we're looking good. This is going to be faster. This is going to be much faster. There's 450. We're gaining. Come on. 495? Are you kidding me? I couldn't touch 500? No way. Twitch chat says that's 307 miles an hour. An hour? It's not long enough. This runway is not long enough. Damn it. I jumped the barrier again. For God's sake. Time to take our Liberty Walked Ferrari around the racetrack and... Yes, it does sound like a kettle. We have 1,600 horsepower. We have no grip from our all-wheel drive. We have understeer for days. And not to mention, the suspension is a bit jank because I decided to save some money and not fix every single part on the Ferrari. We may have ruined a Ferrari. We definitely ruined a Ferrari. Wait, what? I could sell a 1,600 horsepower wide body 458 for 85 grand. Safe to say Ferrari bankrupted us today. And that's before the lawsuit.